one is true Oh, it's you Been the prince, I've been the pauper Been the star and played the fool Been the winner and the loser In between them two But no matter who I might become Or who I've been before I will always To start with this whole thing nick and i've been friends for uh going on 10 years now about 2009 to be exact uh a long time ago for at least myself it feels that way it, it all started when we were passing each other on horsehead bay i had a beautiful 2005 gmc yukon and nick had a 2008 chevy tahoe white it was beautiful uh in passing we rolled down our windows and started talking to each other and uh you know a couple car guy young car guys i should say uh, really got to know each other and it was uh, from that point on it uh, led to countless hours on the water um, vacations with our families and of course a, a wonderful job at Peninsula Subaru so we got a, we got a, a chunk of, of Nick and Nikki somehow in our lives pretty important for us and also I think it's appropriate this is a Nick and Nikki show but I think it's <laughs> given, given, given the uh, circumstance that happened through the past year over i'd like to have a moment of silence for nick's brother joe uh as, as many of you may know that the past seven months have been very very difficult for the dionis family um in the Dinos family had to face the unthinkable and to continue to move forward even when it didn't seem possible with the passing of Joe. We lost a son, a grandson, a brother, and a dear friend. Nikki, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> you stepped for Nick and stepped up for Nick in a way nobody else could. You showed him grace, empathy, love, and compassion. You never left his side and you filled the role of a true companion. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> um, not only a true companion, but a life partner while you were feeling the same grief and pain. If that doesn't show the kind of wife you'll be to him moving forward, I don't know what will. Nikki, I always knew you were the one for Nick. I never had a doubt. I can stand here today in front of all these people that love you very much, and I wouldn't want my best friend to be with anybody else. Loving God. You made the bond of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for his church. Hear our prayers today for Nick and Nikki. With faith in you and each other, <clears throat> they pledge their love. And may their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. A few years down the road, I remember Nick uh, telling me he had met some girl at the Arletta store. And I was like, Hold on a second. You met a girl at the Arletta store. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta figure this out here. Uh, and as in Nick's wonderful voice, he says, "Yeah, man, she's really cute. Her name is Nikki. Uh, I'm taking her out in a couple days." It's like, all right, man, that's awesome. You do you. Long, long story short, a couple days later, I was uh, hanging out at my parents' house, and uh, Nick gives me a call and says, "I'm stopping by your dock. I have somebody uh, you need to meet." I was like, wow, that's a pretty nice first date coming over to Andrews and introduced him to him. So I felt very lucky. Um, Nicky and Nicky are pulling up in uh, his boat and I hear this, hi, Cheney, I'm Nicky, with so much excitement. Uh, first impression was great. And I knew uh, Nick had had a keeper for sure. I thought I had this mark. <laughs> Nobody's in a hurry, so we'll figure it out there it is. <laughs> there it is. 
There's an appointed time for everything and a time for every affair under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot the plant. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Over the last few years, Nick and Nikki have always been so great about including me in all their plans. A um, lot of third wheeling going on here. So uh, <laughs> very, very, very lucky to be a part of that, whether it was, you know, going to a Seahawks game or uh, uh Sorry, going to Seahawks game, or whether it was going to Palm Springs, and I got to tag along uh, for a long weekend. So, um, or even going to a romantic dinner at Lake Bay Marina for those out here that know that beautiful location. It's a it's a great spot. I'd highly recommend it. I uh, thank you both for all the incredible memories we've had together, the three of us, third wheeling and all. But I love you guys for that. If I speak with human tongues. And angelic as well, but do, do not have love. I am a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and with full knowledge comprehend all mysteries, I have great faith great enough to move mountains. But, if, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give everything I have to feed the poor and hunt over my body to be burned, but have not love, I, got, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind, love is not jealous, it does not put on airs, it is not selfish, love is never rude, it is not self-seeking, and it is not prone to anger, neither does it brood over injuries. Love does not rejoice when it is wrong, but rejoices with the truth. There is no limit to love's forbearance, to its trust, its hopes, its power to endure. Love never fails. Prophecies will cease, ties will be silent, knowledge will pass away. Our knowledge is imperfect and prophesied is imperfect. When the perfect comes, the imperfect will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk like a child, think like a child, reason like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways aside. Now we see distinctly as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. My knowledge is imperfect now. Then I shall even know. Then I shall know even as I am known. There are in the end three things that last: faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Dear Johnny Depp lover ninety seven at gmail dot com. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not actually how I'm going to start my speech. But isn't Nikki's old email hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> Nikki and I have been best friends since fourth grade. We met in Mrs. Rosenbach's class when she transferred to Voyager, and somehow we kept ending up in the same classes for years. Which, thinking about it now, I feel really bad for our teachers <laughs> that they had to deal with both of us. We actually dated for two years too. Wow, <laughs> not funny. Yeah. <laughs> We used to date and now I'm her man of honor, so. <laughs> you are someone who tells it how it is. Someone who is so strong and so courageous. Always diving into life head first. And those are some of the biggest qualities that I love most about you. Because I know that you always tell me what I need to hear and communicate exactly how you feel. And I'm so happy that you found someone so much like yourself. So I'm gonna ask Nick to go ahead Recite his own vows first. And try to look at the beautiful bride. Did you say it, Nick? Okay, you can write. You can hold it and read it. Okay. She'll figure it out. Yeah. 
Sí, sí. Falling in love with you has been the easiest thing I've ever done. From the moment I saw you at the Arletta store, I knew that all I wanted was you. From our first date, our first kiss, first bite, first everything, I always knew that you were the one for me. <sighs> you mean so much to me. I love how we can both be ourselves and be goofy together and just have fun. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you and thank you for the love. I promise to be honest and faithful. I promise to create a home where we'll be our own family. I promise to forgive quickly and to love easily. I promise to always watch Grey's Anatomy with you, even when I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> and I promise you all of me forever. I love you. But wow, I can't believe we are finally here today. Love is patient. On behalf of Nicole, Nick, and our families, thank you all for being here today. So Nicole and I have had this sister bond since the moment we met 13 years ago. We understand each other and can talk about anything together. We have done a lot together. We've traveled near and far together, stayed up late having conversations about life, and had too much fun going out together. We've supported each other through all of life's major events. Over the years, I've known Nicole. It's very clear that she loves hard, she's dedicated, and is fun. I'm truly blessed to have her as a sister. I was on the edge of my seat when she came home and I heard about this car guy named Nick that she met at Arletta. It was very apparent that she was really excited about him. You could practically see her floating off on cloud nine with butterflies after each time she spent with him. As excited as I was for my sis, I had my reservations because she deserves only the very best. I remember seeing Nick the first time and I thought, okay, he's cute, he's charming, he has great style, is almost equally as bougie as Nicole. <laughs> he quickly checked off all the boxes and I realized he's the very best for my sister and that they complete each other. To my handsome man on our wedding day, how fitting is it that six, our six year anniversary of our very first date, we get to say I do to forever with each other. I am so thankful that six years ago, you stopped the girl next door at the little Arletta store and won me over with those charming good looks and a personality that immediately felt irresistible. From the moment you said hello to me, I couldn't stop talking about how I had just met the man of my dreams. Since I was a little girl, I always imagined what my future husband would encompass, what you are exactly. Not only are you tall, dark, and extremely handsome, <laughs> but you are a true gentleman, a humble human, and the most loving and caring man I have ever met. Thank you for knowing me better than I know myself. Thank you for pushing me through my weaknesses so that they can become my strengths and for encouraging my strengths to become my passions. You know me better than anyone else in this world and you still somehow managed to love me even after experiencing my amazing singing in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> On our wedding day, I thank you for everything that we have experienced together so far and eagerly wait for the rest of our entire lives to unfold. Today, I vow you to love you through the best times, to enjoy the moments that we may take for granted, I vow to love you not only through the good days, but every hard day that we will face. I vow to never go to bed angry with each other, to always kiss you goodnight, and to never stop dating my best friend. And as hard as it may be, I vow to not freak out every time you break one of my mugs or cups, <laughs> and to try to not freak out when you're organizing the dirty dishes around in the sink. <laughs> I vow to love your quirks, I vow to love your passions as they are mine, to never stop laughing with you, and to continue to get butterflies in my tummy every time I see you. I vow to love you for the very rest of my life. I choose you today, tomorrow, and forever. Nicholas, you are my very best friend, everything I've ever wanted, and everything that I'll ever need. Thank you for making my dreams come true, my love. All right, here we are today, six years after I got that call. Dad, I met somebody where? Arletta store, right? <laughs> John and Melinda, thank you for sharing Nick with us. I am so happy to finally call you both family. I've always been so proud to be Nikki's dad. Nikki brightens every room she walks into, even taking into consideration the questionable fashion choices she had growing up. The groovy 70s, thank God, were a very short period. The thought of giving her away is a tough one for me. What makes it easier is because of who I get a give her to. 
Nick D is the most genuine young man you will ever meet. He loves having fun, he loves family, and he loves Nikki. Nikki? Take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I want to read a part of a little song that uh, has special meaning to me. And it's called My Wish, and I'll try to do it without crying. I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow, and each road leaves you to where you want to go. And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose, I hope you choose the one that means the most to you. And if one door opens, another door closed, I hope you keep walking till you find the window. If it's cold outside, show the world the warmth of your smile. My wish for you is that life becomes all you want it to be. Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small. You never need to carry more than you can hold. And while you're there, getting to where you're going, I hope you know that somebody loves you. Both of you. Nick. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. So the funniest thing ever is, uh, guess what? I was there in our letter, in our grocery store. Nikki was a consumer. She bought a car from us. And that hot little girl came up and my son saw her and said, she just bought a car from us. He's like, I'm in love. <laughs> we knew that there was something special in that parking lot. And Nick and Nikki, I can't thank you enough and give you love from mom and I. And uh, we're proud of you. And uh, you're going to do wonderful things in life. And uh, God bless you for success and babies. Little Johnny, somewhere in there. <laughs> Hopefully. And uh, just onward and upward. But uh, Nikki, welcome to our family. We love you. Now you're a Dionys. Love it. Hey everyone for coming to celebrate Nikki and Nick's wedding with us. Today, uh, Nikki, today is your wedding day and we couldn't be more excited for you. It has always been and always will be an honor and an amazing thing to be your mom. Lord, here I go. Um, you truly light up any room just by being in it and possibly make it just a little bit louder. You are a beautiful, nutty, compassionate and loving young lady and my mini me and I hope that never changes. I couldn't be more proud of your, your mom. Sorry. Nicholas, we want to tell you how proud we are to have you with our, our son-in-law, finally. <laughs> finally. You make my little girl's eyes sparkle, and for that I thank you. And she, and you, she has truly found her Prince Charming. Congratulations to my sweet Noodle and her handsome husband. I love you both so much. Cheers. May the Lord bless you with many happy years together. Let you may enjoy the rewards of a good life. And after you have to serve him loyally in his kingdom on earth, it's he been a while since kingdom. we felt the way it's we did. This time to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Nick and Nikki Young Dionysus. It's been a while since I looked into your eyes and saw starlight, bold, bright colors. Yeah, when I'm down, when I'm dry.
dry 